All right, guys, so this is a child-to-child -child vision screening toolkit where you're going to be able to test each other's eyesight. Okay, so there's four different tests. There's two tests that measure high contrast vision out of both of your eyes. Then there's a test that measure, two tests that measure low contrast vision, so faded letters of both your eyes. So you're going to do this in groups of three. There's going to be one person having their vision being tested, one person being the person testing the vision, the vision and one person recording the results in one of these booklets. Okay? Now you, you, you're going to, do, to do the vision testing, you're going to stand behind tape, four metres apart, which we're going to mark out in a minute, and you're then going to swap positions so each person has their eyes tested. It's really important that you follow the instructions in this chart, okay, to make sure that the, test, the vision testing is accurate. And it's not about having good or bad eyesight, it's just about that everyone sees different. Alright guys, now what we've got to do is measure out four metres on the ground. Okay, so we've got a metre roller to measure it out, and we've got some tape to make a line, lines that we're going to stand on. Okay, so who wants to measure? Who wants? <laughs> you can do the line at the other end. Okay, alright. Right, Ethan, you're the tester, so I'm going to show you what the tester's role is. Right, Ethan, so this is the testing booklet, okay? So you're going to stand with your feet right on this white line, okay? And you're going to always have the space facing you. So you turn the pages away, away from you. Can you see this little face down here? Yep. So that, that means that the flip chart's the right way around, okay? So you're going to hold the chart like this, hand at top and hand at the bottom and you're going to read these instructions out to Maddie, who's being tested, okay? I'm going to turn the page. So for example, on this page, you're going to say, please cover your right eye, then begin reading the chart, okay? You're also going to say to Maddie, start with row one, and she finishes that row, you're going to go down to the next row, all the way to the bottom, okay? So start with the big letters, finish with the small ones. If she gets a letter wrong, you can ask her to repeat that row again. Okay, Maddie, I'm going to explain to you the role of the person being tested, all right? So you're standing just behind that white line, okay? Can you see the chart that Ethan's holding up? Yep. See the E's? Yep. What you're going to do is you're going to point the direction that the limbs of the E's are facing. So, for example, the first E on line one, which direction are the limbs of the E facing? Mm, right. That's right. And so you're going to point really clearly and really slowly. So what about the next one? Yep, and the third one? Same way. Perfect, exactly. So you're always going to start on the left side of the chart by the red numbers. You start from the top of the chart and go down. Yeah. Okay, so there's going to be four tests. You're going to go all the way through the first one, turn the page and go on to the next one. Yeah. All right, Luke, I'm going to explain to you the role of the person who's recording the results. Okay, so the first thing that needs to be done is the person who is being tested needs to fill in these questions on the front of the form. Name, classroom, the date, when they last got their eyes tested, if they have glasses and if they're wearing them today. Okay, that's really important. So it'd be Maddie who'd fill that in because she's the one being tested. And you're gonna turn the page. And this is explaining how to record the results. So as we've said, start on row one. You're gonna, got some boxes, you're gonna tick across if they get the answers correct or incorrect. You're gonna add up the total number of ticks in the box at the end test all rows and repeat for all charts. So I'll show you what that means on the next page. Okay. So these E's are facing the same direction as the E's on the chart that Maddie is reading. Okay. So every time Maddie points in a particular direction, if she points the right way, you're going to tick in this box. And if she points the wrong way, you're going to cross in the box. Okay. At the end, you're going to add up the total number of ticks and write them here out of three or out of five. You're then gonna go down all the rows, make sure you're ticking or crossing for each E, for the direction she's pointing. Does that make sense? You're gonna do exactly the same for 
all four tests. What you'll notice, you see these colours down here? These colours are the same colours as on the flip chart itself. So you'll see the high contrast right is a sort of teal colour. It's the same colour for the flip chart. So that helps you make sure that you're both recording on the same, for the same test. Now please cover your left eye and begin reading the chart. Okay, Maddie, I'm going to explain to you how we fill in this results summary chart on the first page. Yeah. So this results summary chart is going to give us your final score for each of the four tests. Okay, so I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so you've added up all the numbers down here. These are the, this is the easiest test, the biggest letters. This is the hardest test with the smallest letters. Mm -hmm. Your final score is the number of the row that you got more than, the number of the hardest row that you got more than half right for. Okay, so, you've, so there's five um, letters in this row, so more than half you have to get three ticks or more. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this row, you start at the bottom of the chart because that's the hardest. Okay, so for, for row number six, how many ticks did you get? Five. Okay, so what would that make your score? Six. Good job. So now we're going to go back to the first page. And this is the yellow one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to the yellow chart and circle six. We'll fill in the six box because that's your score for that chart. Okay? Yeah. All right, Maddie, so you see we've filled in scores for the first three tests. We're now just going to look at the last one. So this is the score for low contrast vision with your right eye. Okay, so let's have a look at these scores. First of yeah. all, we need to write in the totals, the total number of ticks for each test, for each row. Right, great, okay, so let's, let's do, this, do it the same way as the other tests. So, we'll start at row six. How many ticks? None. None, so what, what do we do next? Mm, go up to the fifth one. Go up to the fifth one. So how many ticks for the fifth one? Uh, two. Two, okay. What, what's the next step? Mm, go up to four. Go up to four, what happened on four? I got three. Three ticks out of five, is that more than half? Um, yes. Yes, okay, so what do you think your score is for that test? job. So, go back to the first page and you'll mark your score. Perfect, so a score of four for that test.